Hey everybody. So I just wanted to show you what I do to just start things off with Photoshop and the 960 grid system. Now, one thing I will say about the 960 grid system is that it's actually one of the older grid systems. It's been used extensively. It has its back, it has a, it doesn't, well, it's not a panacea. It doesn't cure every ill. But here we go, we're gonna download, we're gonna do the big old download button. And uh, here comes my download. It's gonna unpack. I'm gonna go over here to my, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna get over here to my dock, which is over my other monitor. And I'm gonna open, oopsie. Sorry, I'm off screen for a moment. All right, there's, um, here we go. The 960 grid master. Inside the 960 grid master folder, system master, you see templates, sketch sheets. Um, sketch sheets are pretty interesting. You can download them and they actually, you can print out and sketch upon them. So you have like a, a, a true size or, you know, at least something you can work with. So that's really nice to know. But the templates are what we're after. I'm gonna use Photoshop for this. There are uh, three different variations. There's the 12 column, the 16 column, and the 24 column. Those of you who know grids know that the columns basically chunk up your content in different ways. I'm gonna keep things simple with the uh, 12 column. Let me just, oh, actually, let me just move over here. I'm gonna open it up. This is a 16 comp, so it gets more and more complex as you go. Close that out. All right, here we are. We're in the 12 column grid. Of course, I'm on a retina display, so things are quite small. But uh, what, I make a few adjustments here. Uh, this, this actual uh, file, if you notice, it's RGB, and it's actually already set for web. But I'm gonna go up to image, um, canvas size, image canvas size. I'm gonna increase the width uh, and you see it's gonna it's gonna increase it all the way around. I'm gonna increase the width to I'm gonna say 2,000 pixels, so I have a little more background. Oh, it's a lot of background. All right, maybe you don't need to do that quite that much, but and I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna look at my layers. Now, as you can see, the layers there's a a bunch of shapes that are all locked together, and that forms the actual visual grid lines. And if we zoom in here, you can see the colors and all of that. Um, Basically, they're, they're gutters between the columns, and you can chunk your content up any way you want to. Now, I had you guys do rough sketches after the wireframes, which some of you may have found a little, uh, a little hard to deal with, but that's okay. It's no problem. I'll show you what, a, a little quick trick that I do sometimes. I'm going to go to File. I, I have a, a rough sketch, a very rough sketch that I'm going to bring into this file right now. So I'm going to say um, Photoshop Open. We have my website scan. It's very rough. It's totally crappy. But I just want you to see that it doesn't matter what it looks like because it's, it's to get you thinking. I have it. Oh, I'm going to um, grab that file and drag it into this program. And, of course, if I look at my layers, it is just a regular image right now. I'm, and, once again, I'm assuming in this demo that you know Photoshop. I'm going to change this into a smart object. Let me show you how I did that. I clicked on the layer of that, that image I just draw, brought in, I right clicked on it, and I chose Convert to Smart Object. I'm also going to move the 12 column grid up above it. Selecting that, uh, that object, uh, layer 1, I could rename that actually, and I'm going to say Rough Sketch. I, rena I, I name everything, I'm very, I'll, I'll, I'll send you guys some files so you can see. I'm gonna hit Command T for transform. I'm just gonna stretch that puppy out. Sometimes I literally use my rough sketch underneath my grid so I can kind of start getting a feel for what I wanted. Cause, you know, I mean, proportionally, my eye is rarely wrong. Um, let me move it around a little bit. But this is how I literally use my rough sketch, and and this is just to get us started. This is not to stick to anything, cause of course this is still very rough. But there we go. I just. I, because I changed that object, that image, into a smart object, I stretched it out without losing any quality. Um, once again, if you don't know Photoshop, do not panic. Uh, you're gonna have to, I can't support everybody, I can't provide like three different demos on every single lesson, but I'm just showing you what I do. But let's just take a look here. Okay, let's see, that's gonna be where my logo's going and everything. This is above the fold, you'll notice that the file is too short. 
So let me just fix that. Once again, I'll go to image, canvas size, and I'm gonna change the height to something outrageous, like 3,000. You'll see these images can get very large. Be sure to change your anchor so that it goes below. You know how the anchor, this uh, determines the length in which, or the direction in which it will expand. I want it to expand below, so I click on this, this dot. Ooh, and look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's getting a little too big, but we'll fix that. Next thing I do is I stretch out my column grid. I click on that, that layer and I hit Command-T. Oh, it's locked. Let me unlock it. I unlo you can lock it by clicking on the lock button or unlock it. I'm going to once again hit Command-T and stretch it out. And then I can simply go to Crop or C and crop everything down to a reasonable size. So now I have basically what I need to do this web page as I saw it. And I can turn this on and off as I need to because this is why we need to work with layered program. Um, every program has its different way of working. I'm asking you to try to work in something that you're, you're more comfortable in because you'll find it goes faster that way. If you're trying to learn Photoshop on top of web design, ugh, it gets hard. But you can do it. You can absolutely do it. All right, so I'm looking here, email, sign up, about, show, stuff like that. I'm going to come in closely. This is approximately, this is a pretty good approximation of what the size of the, the page is going to be. This is about where the fold would fall. So what I do is I just grab my rectangle tool and I start setting in blocks of color. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay, I'm going to, it's all going to be above the, the column. And I'm just drawing in my first block of color. So this is going to be my layer that has my logo in it. And I can change its color as I draw on it. Once again, you might have a different way to working. But I can go in and make sure everything's snapping to that grid so that I know that this is exactly the width I want it to be. Let's see, where'd it go? It's kind of hard to see that one. Ah, there it is snap it and so I start literally blocking in content in different colors so I'm going to draw another box apply I'm going to take the box here and once again I'm going to draw another box and once again I'll change its color and it's, it doesn't matter if it's the color these aren't the colors you're going to be using you're just working on proportions rough proportions so this is like going to be your main sales image. I can already tell I need to make that much bigger. And I'll go in and, and make it much more precise as needed. And once again, I'm just going to go out and block out. I'm going to do a couple more of these. I'm going to change the color before I draw it so it doesn't get confusing. Oh, I just changed the color. Cancel. All right, so let me select off of that. I'm going to grab another the box tool. I'm going to draw another box. And you can see I can start snapping things. Uh, let me change this one's color to a nice yellow. And I'm going to fix this in just a moment. And I'm just going to copy and paste that over here. As you can see, the, the roughness of the sketch is actually... It, it's pretty daggum rough. All right. That's what I'm going to do for now. All right. And now I'm going to go and turn off my layers that are kind of interrupting me. All right. So now I have my logo area the main image area, and then the two of the content blocks. And I'm already starting to line them up. Now, there are a couple things you should do here. Of course, you should start cleaning up your, your widths and everything. One good thing to do is to always make sure that your smart rulers are on. Let's see. Uh, extra show. Smart guides are on, so... I'm going to zoom in and make sure things are snapping. I'm zooming in and out here. And I'm moving fairly quickly in this demo just because I want to get somewhere so I can show you something. So obviously, you know what? I'm thinking about it. And I want this image to be pretty daggum big. I'm going to move it all the way to the top. And I'm going to grab the logo block. And I'm just going to make it tiny. It doesn't need to be the whole thing. So that's going to be my logo somewhat, somewhat. So you can see, like, I'm starting to really rough things in. And same with this about, like, the, uh, the, 
this email sign up panel. It looks huge, first of all, but I click on it and I resize it and I make sure um, I maintain distances and stuff. Um, let me get over here. I'm gonna redo this one so it snaps to it. And I just really, I really start roughing things in. And this is not gonna, this is not fixed, but I just basically start working out some stuff. I have no navigation yet, this is great. Oh. But what I could do now is I could start really cleaning up my file and keeping it actually very tidy. I'm gonna go over to my layers panel. I'm clicking on uh, the rough sketch in the 12 column grid. I'm gonna put them in their own, uh, their own folder. And I'm gonna say uh, grid. And then I'm gonna change the name of each of the rectangles. So the purple, or the, well, what's magenta will be big picture. And then the logo, I would change the name to logo. And then the yellow, I'm gonna to change to email panel. And then the green, I'll change to, um, let's see, the about panel. So that's what we have so far. And I would actually, literally start breaking this stuff up. I would I would group logo and big picture in their own folder and name that uh, header. Or you know, you, you can decide on your vocabulary. We'll talk about vocabulary in just a little bit, but I would say top panel. For email and about, I would put them oopsie, cancel. I'm gonna grab those two, drag them in their own folder and name them uh, main top content maybe, because it's a pretty long page main top content and of course I could keep adding things into each of these folders as I needed uh, maybe not the grid I could turn that on and off as I wanted to but the point is to have a completely organized beautiful file at the end of this where each element that you're utilizing has a name and a folder and a place so I would I, for instance I'll end things by adding a navigation to the top panel let me choose a nice lovely purple or pink I'm gonna draw, let me do this. Oh, dang it, sorry. I keep selecting the last drawn object. Come here, um, let me go back. All right, let me just change that. Ugh. Back to blue. All right, ooh, that blue. All right, so I'm gonna draw another square and it's gonna actually end up being my nav bar, but I'm just gonna draw it and I'm gonna make it a different color. I'll make it a nice big gray, dark gray. And once again, I'm gonna, it's inside the top panel folder. Let me go to the layers and I'm gonna name that nav bar. And so I'll literally, and then I'll go from there. But I just wanna stop right there and say, this is how I block things out using the rough sketch. It really makes sense. So. Um, and I can turn my grid on and off. I can move it to the top as I need it. And really, I, I can start snapping things too because every opportunity to lighten things to the, the, the grid I take so that when I need to break the grid, which always happens, it will be to the greatest effect. So we'll talk more and more about that as we go, but I just wanna end that right here.